Today we're going to be installing a wind restrictor in a C4 coupe. This episode of the Corvette Channel is brought to you by Wind Restrictor, makers of the ultimate accessory for your Corvette. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott and today we're going to be installing a wind restrictor in my C4 Corvette. Now this restrictor is the newest uh, restrictor in the wind restrictor product line. Um, they've had the C4 convertible restrictor for a while, but they just released this new restrictor for the coupe. And I have been, as you guys know, I've been doing wind restrictor videos for a lot of different cars for a long time, and I knew that they were working on this, and I was super excited. I was like, hey, I wanna be the first one to get this done. So my car is actually the very first production uh, restrictor to ever be installed. Uh, there was one other one, uh, I think I might have a picture of it. It's a white ZR1, and they used that car for the prototype to be able to, uh, to get the brackets to line up and do all that stuff to get this thing to work. And I gotta tell you, this looks awesome. They did a great job with it, and um, I am just so tickled. It was worth the wait. And guys, those of you that have C4s, you know there's not a lot of stuff that we can do to our cars nowadays. There's not that many people that are doing stuff for them. And I think this is an awesome addition, and uh, I, I just can't wait to be able to share this with you. And so anyway, uh, we're gonna go ahead, uh, I'm gonna show you how this is installed. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some information here periodically throughout the video uh, on where to go, uh, windrestrictor.com, and I'm also going to be able to put a, a coupon code up here, on, and that way um, you'll be able to get a discount, okay? So, uh, but anyway, we're going to touch base on how to wire it a couple different ways. We're also going to talk about uh, plugging in a auxiliary battery so you can be able to run this like it's running right now. Um, so if you're at a car show or something like that, uh, you'll be able to do that without running your battery dead. So anyway, guys, sit back and relax and enjoy the show. All right, guys, we're about ready to go ahead and we're going to put this into the car, but I want to cover a little thing, a couple of things here before we get started, um, about how easy it's going to be, uh, to be able to remove this if you need to, to pull it out, clean it, or if you just need more room for the day or whatever. Uh, Wind Restrictor has kind of redesigned how they do things. Uh, on this new model and it's very cool because I have a C7 and the wiring is already hardwired in. Now those of you that have the convertible you know that you have a quick disconnect that allows you to be able to just unplug from the battery and that's cool but for those of you that have the coupes in the other cars if you need to pull this out it was very easy to pull the wind restrictor itself but you had to actually unwire it. And so what they've done is they've incorporated a quick disconnect plug here. This unit happens to be a single wire unit, but they also have a multi-light kit for them also. And they have a new connector for that. So you'll be able to pull that out also. Now, the, there is one bracket, and you're going to see that in the installation. There's just a thumb screw that's right up here in the front, and it connects onto the halo. And then you have the main brackets right here that connect down here on the the roof holder okay when you've got when you're storing your roof and you have it off and then there's two wing nuts on that bracket so that way you can undo those two wing nuts undo this this roll knob here here and you'll be able to pull it out by taking the connector loose this also allows you to be able to uh, have a battery uh, so if you want to be able to you know, run this during a car show you can do that and there is also a, uh, I didn't get it on mine, uh, but the, they have a dimmer module. So whether you are doing uh, multicolor, you would have a dimmer. And, and they've also added a, an option here so you can get the, um, the dimmer um, as part of the single light kit. So um, they really, I think, thought it really through. And I think it's, it's, um, it's, I think it's really good that you can take it in and out if you need to. So what we're going to do now is, uh, Terry and I, we already cheated because, of, you know, we always have problems getting the tape off, but there's sticky tape right here at the bottom, okay? And so what we're going to do here, the first thing we need to do is it comes with the alcohol swabs, 
and it comes with an adhesion promoted pin. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to wipe down uh, the top of this little guy right here. Going to wipe that off, get any oils or anything off of it. Um, C4s have been around a long time, so they probably got armor all on them, most likely. Okay. And you can see right there, there's a lot of stuff on that. Okay. Then you're just going to let that dry for a second. And then it comes with the adhesion promoter. And all you're going to do there is you're just going to squeeze it right there in the middle. And you'll probably be able to hear it, hear it crack. Just do that all, all the way along there, okay? And just squeeze it around. It's like crushing glass. And then this acts like a uh, kind of a cotton swab right here. And what you can do is you can just put this right on there. You can probably see that getting wet. And this isn't going to hurt anything. This just helps that glue stick because once you have your top off, and Terry's going to do that side. Once you have your top off, um, there's a lot of air coming through here. And so that's another point that I want to touch base with too, is that uh, wind restrictor is, uh, is um, recommending that you allow the, the tape to bond for 72 hours before you get out there and start doing any aggressive driving, high speed driving with the top off. Okay, So that way it gives a chance for this to bond. So now that we've got that, we've got that done, and we're going to uh, we're going to go in and just kind of warm these up. Now, I don't want you to put any heat on on the plastic of the car itself. It's not needed, and um, so we're just going to heat these up just a little bit. We're just going to warm them. I'm going to literally just warm them up just to just to activate the uh, the glue. We don't need to have to put a bunch of heat onto it. All right. There we go. Now, again, if you guys can reach, I can't because I'm short. Um, but if you guys can reach and you want to be able to put it down in there yourself, you can, not a problem. But if you've got somebody that will help you, then you want to make darn sure that you have somebody just give you a hand, okay? So now all we're doing here is we're just going to go ahead and we're going to set these brackets right on top of, of these pads, just like that. Okay, so now that we've got these down in place, you want to hold these for about one minute, okay? Don't release it, just press nice and firmly and hold it there. And this is where it's going to be able to help get it to bond. Okay, now once we got that part, then what we'll do is we'll go up to the front of the, of the cabin up there and that's where we'll put our other little bracket that goes right up here on the top of the halo. And we'll wipe it down with alcohol again and also the promoter and then that way um, it'll be nice and secure, okay? And then at that point, we'll jump into the wiring. All right, guys, so now we're in the car. So we're just gonna wipe this down. I'm gonna let it dry here for a second. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put that, that adhesion promoter on here. In the meantime, now my halo is cracked right here, as you guys can see, but it should be just fine because it's a big enough, big enough piece. And then Terry has the bracket itself, and he's heating that up for me. And again, he's just warming it up just to activate the, activate it. And so now what we're going to do is we're just going to swing this little guy around, bring it around like so. Terry, do you have that nut for me? All right, so now that we got the bracket on here, it's all nice and tight. We're going to go ahead and we're just going to take our little little nut here. And we're going to start that on there like so. And this is just going to support this so it doesn't rattle while you're going down the road. Okay. Let's tighten that up. Just finger tight like that. And then you're good. Okay, so now we are, the, as far as the, the restrictor itself, it's installed. So now we're just gonna jump into uh, wiring it up so we can get it all lit up. All right guys, so now that we've got the, the restrictor installed, what we're gonna do is the, the kit comes with a uh, cigarette lighter adapter that just you can just plug it into the cigarette lighter and you can go ahead and plug it into the restrictor and you're good to go, okay? So when you want it to work, you're just gonna really just go on over there like that, pull the cigarette lighter out, Plug this in, 
And then you can you can route route this wire however you see fit. You can bring it up here through the, the center console like that and run it over here and tuck it under your carpet or whatever you want to do. And then you can just plug it in to the restrictor and there you go. It's lit up. They're also going to include a fuse tap. And so what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna just pull this loose and what I did was, and I'm gonna, I kind of did this, uh, figuring out how to do it to be able to show you guys how, and then I kind of locked myself in. So I have this little pigtail that's right here, and um, I'm gonna have John come around to the other side here in a second after I explain this. But what I did is I literally, this has one end on it, the other side does not have an end. And so what I did is I took an awl, and I just poked a little hole into the carpet, and then I ran the wire down through and down through into this carpeted area down here and then that way my restrictor can plug into here like that okay and then it will be able to just come on with the car okay with the key and then you don't have to worry about having the cigarette lighter adapter all right so um, what I'm going to do I'm going to have John come around to the other side and I'm going to show you how to take this all apart and exactly how to go ahead and tap into using a fuse tap to um, tap into the cigarette or the uh, the fuse panel so you can have this come on and off with the car okay all right guys so the easiest way to do this to get that wire up to the fuse panel as you know if you have a C4 the fuse panel is right here and so easiest quickest way to do this is to go ahead and take these screws here loose okay, and they're just the Phillips screws And then there's a, there's a couple screws here. There's one here and there's one right about here. And I have sill protectors on mine. I just have it, they're just Velcroed on. So we'll be able to take those off pretty easy. Like that, set that off to the side here. Okay. And then there's the other screw hiding right there. Okay, we'll pull that little guy out. Get that up to the side, and this will lift up and off. Okay, we'll get that out of the way. So now what I did, like I told you guys, I told you that I, I was already trying to figure this all out, and we ran the wire down here. I just kind of tucked it down here for a second just so it was out of the way so I could show you guys how to do this. But really all you're going to do is you're just going to tuck this, tuck this wire down here like so. And underneath the carpet, like that, in here, down through the, down through the base here, right, all the way down. We've got our wire coming all the way over to here, and we've got a 10 millimeter uh, ground bolt right there. Okay. Now, if you for some reason don't have that, you'll need to find a a uh, ground wire. But what we did is we just took this and I separated the wire, as you can see here, and we've got, I've got a negative, I tied into the negative wire here, and then we still have our positive here. We won't be using this negative wire here, just that one, okay? But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take our eyelet, we're gonna put it onto this 10 millimeter screw, and then we're gonna run our, our uh, our positive wire up to the fuse tap in the fuse and I'll show you how that's done here in just a second okay so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do the 10 millimeter okay we got that nice and tight we can tuck that little guy right down in there like so okay and then at that point we can route this wire right up to the fuse box. All right, guys, so like I said, most of you that have a C4, you know where this fuse panel is. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna just pop this little guy open. Okay, we're gonna move it out of the way. And then you have a fuse tap that should be included in the kit. And so what I chose to do is I pulled the, uh, the uh, gauges fuse, which is a 10, uh, a 10 amp fuse. And then I went ahead and used a fuse uh, tap 
to be able to or add a tap, you know, add a fuse. And this way we can put that like right in there like so. Okay, so we got that in there like that. And then at this point, we've got our, our power wire. And we're just gonna tap that little guy. We're gonna put that right into here, into our, into our connector. Okay, just like that. Crimp that little guy down. All right, we're good. Now we don't need this negative wire anymore. So we're just gonna go ahead and clip it off. Okay, just like that. So then at that point, we should be able to go ahead and turn the key on and our restrictor should go ahead and come on. So Terry's gonna go over and he's just gonna turn the key on for us. And And there we go. And you can see our restrictors coming on and off with the key. Okay. What we're doing here, we're just gonna wrap this little wire. Now, this little guy, this little rubber, this just comes loose. You can just pull it with a pull pin. And then if you also need more room here to be able to get it up in there, there's a Phillips screwdriver, or a Phillips screw right there that you can pull this out and down a little bit more. Okay. And then basically all you're doing is just tucking this up like this, and you're just bringing it around, okay? Now, it's kind of hard to, to show you all this part of it, but we're just bringing it around to the top side of this fuse panel, and you can see what we did is we took a notch and we notched out the fuse panel so this wire can actually go through it. You can see like that, hopefully, okay? Because I know that this is very tight quartered in here, and this way it fits right in. And I drop my drop my little lock screw. Okay, just like that. And then we can tuck this up underneath. Okay, like that. And then we can take our black wire here and just tuck it out of the way like that. And then we can go ahead and just put our our little tab in place. That's totally nice and clean. And we're ready to just go ahead and put the, the door sill back in place. All right, and then we've got the last two that go right up here. And this just goes in there like that. And again, you just have to guide your, guide your screws in. And there we go. All right, and then I'm just gonna put my, my door sill back down. So I just have that Velcro. And there you have it. That's pretty much it, guys. I touched base earlier in the video about a battery system that they have for this. If, uh, if you have not heard about these, these are wonderful, especially if you're taking your car to the car show. Um, it also simplifies your wiring into the car if you don't want to wire it like we did. Um, these batteries, uh, you can purchase them from Wind Restrictor. You just tell them that you want a battery and I'm, I'm not exactly sure of the price on them. I think they're around 50 or $60. And they will plug right into this. So you don't have to tie it into the car if you don't want to. But as you can see, we're tied into the car with a quick disconnect right here like that, right? And what you can do, these have these come with Velcro, right? And if you were wanting to mount this to a smooth surface, you could do that. But the way they come, you can just actually stick it right onto the carpet. So what you can do is you can go ahead and you can just plug this little guy in, just like that, stick this right here on the carpet, it's not going anywhere. And then at that point, you can just turn it on and off, just like that. Now, the awesome advantage of this is that I have seen so many car shows where the people have run their wind restrictor and all of their other LED lighting throughout the day and then when they get ready to go home after the end of the show they go to hit the starter and their battery's dead okay so this is a super super advantage to that this allows you to go ahead and run this restrictor 
completely all day long. These give you about 14 to 16 hours worth of time on this, uh, um, on the restrictor without touching the car battery at all. Okay, so, so the best of both worlds is by having a battery like this, they'll allow you to do this when you're parked and you're doing your car shows, and then also being able to have your regular wiring that will allow you to plug the wire into it and then that way it goes on and off with your car. Okay, so, so just consider that as an option and when you are talking to wind restrictor, be sure and mention that to them and they'll be able to help you out. So guys, now that we've got it in, I wanna to touch base with you about the, you guys have a lifetime warranty with this through wind restrictor, okay? They'll cover the lighting, they'll cover the controllers, the, you know, the restrictor itself, as long as you don't use Windex or any abrasive cleaners on it. Uh, the kit comes with uh, a little bottle and a special rag that's made to be able to wipe this down. It's called Nova, Novus Clean, and you can get that at Walmart or um, you know any of the stores like that that will have it. Um, you can probably also find it on Amazon, that type of thing, okay? But use this, this cleans it really, really well, doesn't leave any residue on it, and it, it keeps it nice and clean. All right, guys, one other thing that we have not covered yet, and I wanted to make sure that this to ease your mind, is the fact that even though you got your wind restrictor in here, your top will still fit in there. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the top in this way. Um, you can see that. So we're just gonna go ahead and set it in place here. And there you go. And there you have it. It's in there nice. Didn't didn't disrupt it at all. And that looks really good, I think, coming through that glass. That looks pretty darn cool. All right, guys. Well, there you go. Um, hopefully you liked the video. If you did, give me that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. I'd sure appreciate it. Um, it helps our, our algorithm with uh, YouTube, and it also helps uh, us to be able to uh, get more, subscri or more uh, uh, sponsors for the channel. And um, it just... Uh, just helps us look quite a bit. We're getting really close to 10,000 subscribers, so I sure appreciate you guys subscribing if you haven't already. So, um, guys, hopefully you found this video helpful and informative, and if you did, like I said, hit that like button and hit that bell so you'll be able to of our next uploads, and we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching the Corvette channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell so you'll be alerted of our next uploads.